Howdy, friend. Say, I was just fixing to amble down the street yonder to Long Branch. Come on with me if you're mine to, and I'll show you some of the town of Dodge City. You know these folks that say that this here is the toughest town in the West. Well, all I can say is if you see a fuller with his teeth, you know he's a tourist. The onlyest holiday they ever celebrate here in Dodge is Jesse James's birthday. And the school teacher says the onlyest time a kid raise their hands is during the holdup. A fuller from Tombstone was to tell me that their town is so tough that they eat barbed wire thinking it's spaghetti. Phew, well, foot. Here in Dodge, we know what it is, and we eat it anyhow. Well, here we are. This here's the Long Branch. <laughs> I'll never forget the first time I ever seen this place. I said, Miss Kitty, you sure got a lot of sawdust on the floor. <laughs> she said, well, fest us up till last night. That was furniture. Oh, howdy, ma'am. <laughs> There's one of the girls that works here at the Long Branch. Bessie's her name. Oh, she's got everything a man could want. Muscles and mustache. Oh, oh yeah, there's a place over yonder you want to see, too. That there's it. It's called Del Monaco's. That's the onlyest place in town to eat. The food ain't much to speak of, so nobody speaks of it much. It's the kind of place where the food is so bad that it makes you glad the service is lousy. I'll tell you this, that eating there is just about as close to a hunger strike as you can get on. Now, right over yonder is Matthew's place. He's the marshal of Dodge City. There's usually a pot of coffee is stewing on the stove. I used to make Hagen-style coffee for him every once in a while till that old scudder Doc Adams got so ornery about it. He said that my coffee tasted like something you'd set in to remove a tattoo. Whew. It's harder than I'd slam a door. Of course, me and old Doc, we joss each other a good deal, but I'll tell you this. He is a good doctor. He's been operating for 30 years. Ain't cut himself once. There's one thing about old Doc Adams, though. He won't operate on you unless it's absolutely necessary. What I mean is, if he don't need the money, he won't lay a knife on you. There's the marshal. That's old Matthew sitting on that bench in front of the jail. Hey, he's bigger than a skinned mule, ain't he? Fast with the gun? Golly, Bill, now, I never have saw this myself, but I've heard tell that he can stand in front of a looking glass and beat himself to the draw. Just the kind of gun handling it takes to be the marshal of Dodge City, too, because there's some awful raunchy yahoos in this town. And they're pulling crimes that you just wouldn't believe. As I walked out on the streets of Dodge City, as I walked out in Dodge City one day, I seen a tall marshal run out of the Long Branch. Some fall or drunk a beer and neglected to pay. Miss Kitty told Matthew to go get the villain and bring him to justice, that swindling swine. His blue eyes growed cold as he pulled out his six gun. I'll throw him in jail or a box made of pine. Now Sam the barkeeper give Matt a description. He was little and mangy with a gun on his hip. 
A week's growth of whiskers and big spurs of jingling With lots of beer foam hung on his upper lip Doc Adams rolled up in his little black buggy A pick in his teeth and a scratch in his ear He said, Matt, if he's mortally wounded, don't worry Bring him upstairs to me and I'll finish him here So here I am locked in the Dodge City Jailhouse A victim of thirst like in one measly dime Let me give out the warning to all of you yahoos Matt Dillon of Dodge makes you pay for your 